Hey, what's up, everybody out there again in YouTube land? How you doing? This is Madu, Mr. Madu, off of DominusBurr.com. Again, that's DominusBurr. Let's spell it how we like to do it. D-O-M-I-N-U-S-B-I-R.com. One place for all masterminds. Master the mind. That's the key. So this is day two of the 30-day fast challenge. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in, you guys, who, who, who have. And those in the future will probably see this once I'm done with the fast. Uh, welcome. And I hope this helped to uh, aid you on your journey just to, you know, hear the mindset of somebody that's actually going through the process. Um, I hope you guys are checking out the other videos from before. The uh, smoothie video that I have out, uh, day one, has some information in there too. And, of course, the prep night. And if not, if not, of course, check out the website. They have the list of everything. And actually, I'm about to do a little bit more of a tighter cut of all the directions of what to do for this whole process so don't worry i'll take care of you guys on that front so just keep uh looking out for that so 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 today i uh i haven't i haven't failed to mention this before because i did say if you guys get to the point where you have to heat you can do black mission figs or walnuts i have not actually eaten any black mission figs or walnuts yet i'm kind of proud of myself because usually i'm a big foodie you know what i mean like i i love fast food and i know it's horrible i listen to all the conscious community stuff and i listen to all the health stuff and i know better i do but i also know that i am of this world you know what i mean like we live in this this society and if you're in america especially out here like you don't get the herbs and everything from africa and south america that easily unless you live in a place like new york or have like some type of caribbean connection or something like that where you can actually get them and those are the herbs and stuff that actually help us uh you know act right for lack of a better word you know what i mean we, it, it keeps us sane when you put a lion in the zoo you take their food and their environment with them otherwise they go crazy and you know all of a sudden your zookeepers are dead even by lion that could happen i think anyway but again um like I was going to say, this uh, journey that I'm on, this whole 30-day fast, like I said, it's not for my body like to look good, even though that is a very good benefit. It is to take back my destiny, to take to bring my destiny back into my own hands. And as I was actually taking a nap today, I kind of, I don't know, I guess my brain is starting to reconfigure it, you know, since it doesn't have all the clutter down there, digesting and everything like that. But um, uh, on the hunger front, I'm not going to lie, today I did start feeling hungry. I was thinking, you know what, my girl was like making some like beans and rice and some other stuff, and I was like, that, that sounds like some really good food. I would kind of want some of that. So, uh, but I was looking and like, it, it just, I, I don't know. I got to the point in my head where it's just like, you know, I feel like my stomach and the body. I mean, of course they're connected, but I feel like everything is medicine in a way. Everything, even food, things that you think are pleasurable. There's a certain version of drug, like, you know smoking cigarettes versus smoking weed versus smoking I don't know uh, herbs like say sage or uh, or uh, actually uh, Damiana is a good one too you guys should check that out if you, if you smoke like it relaxes the body it's not like it just relaxes the body you're not gonna be like out of your mind and doing dumb stuff you know I mean, I, I've been going at this whole acting thing for the longest time you know, and I took a five years hiatus just to get my mind right. And I didn't do it on purpose. Like, I got sick of it. I was more just sick of New York. So I moved down to Austin, you know. And um, I don't know. It's just like, since I've been down here, I've had time to breathe. And that says something even, not even on the fast tip, that says something about your, your environment. When you're around uh a circumstance that keeps your mind muddled and around people that have the same mindset and everything like that it almost creates like a group uh i guess a, a mob mentality even on the individual level you know what i mean it's not just like oh we're all in a group and we're just gonna do our minds together yes that's a phenomenon that happens but there's also the phenomenon that internally everybody is being wired that way over there just because you know um not knowing this knowledge so when I was getting fed up out there, it was actually because, like, I wasn't getting the roles that I was thinking I should get, or I should be getting better roles, or, you know, I wish, you know, more directors or other collaborators in my field would take more chances on me, but, you know, 
In retrospect, I understood I didn't have my mind together and I wasn't going in there with the right mindset, so of course not. But two, my career, my 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 destiny, for, you know, it's more of the same, you know, that's how you eat. I was counting on other people to basically dictate what I felt like I should deserve, you know? And that doesn't make any sense, especially in this world, you know what I mean? So now it's, this fast is actually making me have to put my life into my own hands, just like right now, uh, me taking a step to do the fast is me putting my life back into my own hands, and so thus is putting my career back in my own hands. And uh, if you guys are seeing this off of the Facebook page, you know that the title is Mr. Madu's Journey to Stardom. Like I said, entertainer, I'm trying to get out there. But I, I'm, I can't lie, I can see how this fast is actually helping me get to the mindset where I can actually... This, this is feasible now, you know, and this is only day two, uh, but again, it's been a lot of five years of me sitting back and, like, absorbing knowledge, either from YouTube, yes, you can say YouTube scholar if you want, but again, I'm just like a regular guy, just like everybody else here, you know what I mean, if, if, if the information's there, why not take it, and I'm just trying to be a resource to you guys, for all the guys that don't have time to be doing this, or, you know, this is not your hobby, but you want the info, and you just need it, here you go. You know, that's that's what I'm here for. You're a reader of Lost Arcs. That's me. <laughs> uh, so, um, in terms of food, today I was fine. I woke up, you know. Um, I drank the bladder rack, sea moss, moringa, you know, that uh, smoothie. Watch the smoothie video. That's what I drink in the morning. And I had water. I also put some apple cider vinegar in the water because it has some uh, probiotics, which your stomach needs. Is the first line of defense in in uh, your this technology that you you want to keep preserved. So uh, look at the probiotics. Probiotics help. Um, so I was good on that front, drinking the water. I did get a little hungry at some point. So, but I, I realized as soon as I did the blood RX box again because I had to do it a second time, of course. I was fine. Again, I'm not saying anything like there's a specific amount that you're supposed to drink of this stuff. Just drink it whenever you're hungry. And yeah, it helped me when I was hungry. Uh, when I really got hungry, like I, I did this herbal tea. And that's another thing on the side that I do if you guys have any questions about that. Like I, I've been studying, I don't want to say herbology per se, but I have been studying herbs. So I guess maybe it is herbology. <laughs> I'm looking very forward to this whole project, and even this whole project of me putting the videos together and everything like that, and that's his own, like, thing that's, like, drawing out another part of my existence, just because I've been having a thrill of freaking making these videos, if you, if you couldn't tell. I mean, yeah, so. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks again for checking me out. This is, uh... My, Mr. Madu's 30-day uh, fast challenge. I don't know what's going on outside. The neighbors are going crazy. But again, Mr. Madu's 30-day uh, fast challenge. I'm hoping that uh, you guys check me out again tomorrow for day three. This was day two. Uh, and definitely check me out on the Facebook. Uh, Mr. Madu's journey to stardom. On downthisbear.com, check out the 30-day fast challenge. And yeah, just keep tuning in. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys out there. And you guys who are uh, quitting smoking or doing something good for your life and everything, keep it going. I trust me, I feel your pain, man. Like, it's, it's hard to do those sacrifices, but you know what? It's what our ancestors did to get their minds right and to prepare for future events. So, yeah. You're doing the right thing. Keep it going. I'll see you guys later. Take care, YouTube plan. Bye bye. Somebody call the doctor. Tell him someone's heart stopped beating long time ago I never meant to hurt you